Hello everybody, Yuli89 here! Last time we left off, welcome back to XCOM by the way, last time we left off we was getting ready to do these little alien inductions because some fucking aliens are so inconsiderate about my side testing that they have to interrupt it! I'm a little peeved, to say the least. Right, we don't really need any more scientists to be honest, or at least I don't think we do. Um, how many have we got? 25 and 60, yeah, we could probably do with some more. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I got that so wrong. Right, I'm not worrying about panic at this point because it's, we're very far into the game now. I don't think we're going to have any issues at all. Uh, Ryan, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go, buddy. Yeah, didn't work out. Why, you're not just not good enough. So, yeah. Bye. We've got a new person now. Ramirez. Only for time being until Harris gets back, because Arid is a boss. Wow, she's got a very, very high aim as well, and a very high will. I'm gonna have to put her in for side testing. Christ. She's powerful, man. Like really powerful. Oh, we got a Titan armor for you. Yeah, let's just jump straight in and get on with it. Peter! Now, now, according to a comment in one of my previous videos, the Sky Ranger is actually going like 10,000 miles an hour. Or 100,000 miles an hour. That is ridiculous! ...indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Yup. Operation Spectral Skull. I really want to know what the algorithm or random I or random generator name that that's got like all the names and possibilities. That'd be awesome. If someone could like let me know, that would be very nice of them. Yep, I knew that would happen. Cyberdisc. Eat it, Mr. Boy. Oh, 100% Bulos, you beast. Now I'm going to have to be careful because I don't know how many aliens there's going to be. It's only a difficult mission, it's not like an overly difficult one. I think that might be the way forward. At least they'll take out the drone! Oh yes! Malakov! I love you! 12 damage! Oh, that was beautiful, man. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, mutons. Let's just, uh... Positive enemy contacts. <laughs> I don't like you! Go away! How can you possibly get any closer? Moving to firing position. Ninety-four percent. I like the odds. Oh poo. Um what about you, Kraus? Yep, 76%. Come on, baby. Yeah, man. Right, now that Mew on is... I'm not worried about any damage it's going to do because we've got loads of health now. Literally, like, loads. Come on, Ramirez. Good lass. Berserker die. Now you, mate, are going to die. Don't know why I've got to point that out, but it should be obvious at this point. Die! No! I didn't say not die. I said die! Now, I bet you I'm going to get some sight on other enemies. 
Nope. Well, that'll do. Good lad, Kraus. Good lad. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, I remember this one. It's like a gas station. Like usually, they're all sort of congregating over here. There's not too many of them usually. But we should be safe for time being, so I'm just going to push everyone forward. Now, I apologise for my commentary yesterday because I was very tired. I had only had a few hours sleep and, to be, to be honest, I didn't get much sleep last night either. But I'm running on energy drinks and caffeine is a beast. Uh-huh. Oh no, we've spread out. That's not what I wanted. This, however, is. Throwing grenade. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Did it? How did it die? I only did five damage. I don't think that shredder rocket's going to reach all the way over there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Will it? No. So, I suppose I better make my way around here. Overwatch. Hater! Hater! I don't think your aim is going to be very good here, is it? No, I'll just stick you in suppression. Get off from wherever it's supposed to be. And I'm going to pull you around here so you'll get a flank. Yamamoto. And Ramirez, I want you just over there. Oh, Kraus, I forgot about you, mate. What am I doing? How inconsiderate am I? Now, personally, I do like the Titan armor in this game, but the old power armor from the original games, I really liked. Like, go, go and look, go and look for the old armor on Google. Like, I, I thought it was very. It looked very Fallouty, if that makes any sense. All right, run and gun, get right in his face. Oh shit. Why do I do these things? I think this is like the easiest mission I've picked in quite a while. Some of the other ones have been like very difficult. 72. Oh, is it 72%? You've got. Oh, there's no flank. What the hell? That's not right. That's not right at all. Oh, you poo poo. Bulos, get round there and shoot it in its fucking nads. Good shot, Bulos. Now, as for you... I think you'll get... Yep, yeah, I thought you'd get a shot from there. 46%. I uh, don't really like the odds on that one, but I'll take it anyway. Meh. Well, at least it'll blow up another car, maybe. Maybe. Shredder. No, it's too far. Let's get everyone pushed up a little bit. I don't think I don't think we've got any risk at the moment of getting caught. Should get Why haven't you got squad sight, young lady? That's just awful. No. What are you doing, Mr. Muton? Ha, ah, you missed! How do you like those apples, bitch? Right, Yamamoto, go get a flank. I'm telling you this time. Good lass, now kill it! Thank you! Was that so hard? And as for you, kill it! You got supposed to have better aim than this. Harris would do a better job. Going in 
<laughs> God, I sounded so prude there. Ooh, I know someone that to do a better job. Hello, Mr. Mudon. Bye bye. Hey, <laughs> you're getting killed by inferior Excellent. weapons. I like that one. Sky Ranger 774. Yes, I know. Panic rising, all that lack. I know, but I needed the scientists. If all our missions go as well as this one did, the aliens don't stand a chance. They pretty much don't at this point, anyway. Danger zone. <laughs> Highway to the danger zone. Um, I think rapid fire is better when you've got a shotgun. Like, flush is good. Like, to be honest, either one of these is really good. I, I enjoy both of those abilities very, very much. So we haven't got met. We didn't really get much out of that, but it, it freed up for what we was going to do. And now for the main event! We may be onto something, Commander. Our latest candidate is different. Please let it be the group. Please let it be the group. Please let it be the group. you beast. Oh, Harris, you didn't have it. I thought you would. That's a shame. Okay, now DeGroot is psionic. I was hoping this would happen because of his really high will. But ba basically, he now has psionic abilities. Psionic abilities are... Well, they're really, they're really, really good. Like, in, in the original game, Psy like, psionic... The psionics was a bit overpowered because you could quite easily get control of the map in, like, two turns. It was mental. But yeah, um, I do like I do like it. it. It levels up like normal, so I'd have to take the group on missions and get mine free kills and all that good stuff. Or you can skip it. You don't have to. You can use your one of your psionic people later on in the game in a specific point. Use them as a volunteer, and they automatically get all the ranks plus an extra one that you normally can't be gotten. So yeah, mind free, you have no choice at this ability. Use the ability, use side abilities in combat to favor side training. Causes the target to lose grip on reality, affecting penalties to aim, will and mobility. Does five base damage. Robotic units are immune. It lasts two turns, one cooldown. So yeah. Joy. That's good for us. Now, let's get some shit done. Uh, Bulos, no, what are you doing? That. I want... Where's that? Here he is. Kraus, I'm afraid we must part ways. I know, you're crushed. Because I have my A-team back. Check him out. Beauty. Right, Colin Ryan, you're no good to me now, are you? Uh, Paul Harris. Ramirez, I like you, but I don't think you're as good as what I expected you to be, so you're being benched. I'm sorry. Have a problem? Write me a letter. Right, now I'm going to put some more additional people in for psionic testing, because... Obviously, De Groot was really good with his with his high level ninety one. So I don't want to like add too many people. I'm gonna put Ramirez in because yeah, and I'll put some other people in. Uh, who else could I put in? Yamamoto. Yes, you can go. 
and Jones is out for another two days. That's a shame. Um, how about Malakov? Yeah, let's. No, I better not. I'll send. I'll send a relative newbie. I'll send a support. Suleiman, you can go. Now let's see what else we can get done. Oh, Jones, you're back. Ghost Armor, sign new research. Now, Ghost Armor is actually very good. An advanced prototype based on our earlier skeleton suit armor design. This variation makes use of our latest developments in the field of optical camouflage by studying the unusual phasing behaviour exhibited by the Hyperway Beacon. We've come to understand how this device is capable of existing outside of our visible plane. With this phasic behaviour in mind, we've implemented several experimental metamaterials into the weave and structure of the suit's outermost layers, and as a result, the Ghost Armour provides near invisibility to the wearer, allowing enhanced vision and field infiltration capabilities. So, yeah! I don't really use Ghost Armor all that much, I've never really seen the point, but we need that new fighter craft These quite direly. completely change the course of scientific progress. A new, untouched field of study just waiting for able minds. Hmm. That's all very well and good. Oh no. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything! This could be what we've been waiting for. Hmm. Right now, the Hyperoid Beacon is actually working now. It, before it wasn't, like, fully operational. Now it is. It's ripping itself apart. Shut it down. Now. It could destroy the whole base. Nine. Give it time. For once. Trust me. What's it doing now? It's... working. Ha! Huh. The German was right. New data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. Oh no, I hate this mission. Right, we now we are coming into contact with something. The rule seems to have paid off, but we've endangered the lives of everyone involved to satisfy the doctor's curiosity. The risk was worth the reward. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Mm-hmm. She's right. Right, we've only got one in the area, which is a plasma cannon. I'm not entirely sure that it's going to be capable right now, so I'm just going to go and buy some stuff. To prepare these soldiers for the changes, permanent changes that they will experience. Let's just buy one of them. Uh, I want to get another dodge as well, and an aim. That'd be handy. Better get another one of them as well. I'm probably going to need them because I need to take this ship down. Like it's it's dire at this point. Like we need to make sure we take it down. Now I'm not I'm not sure how many uses you get. Enemy is padlocked. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh no. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> that is not what I needed. We've just received some disturbing news, Commander. I thought Egypt might, but never mind. Wow. Their involvement in the XCOM project. So we've lost two This does not bode well for XCOM. <sighs> Damn it. These recent departures Research and advanced fighter craft. I'm doing that now. You've like, our current crafts can't keep up with it, which is the problem. Of this past month, and obviously, However, it's, it's not paid off. How long have we got? We will be in touch, Three days. Right, let's get this done. Ooh! Oh, Ramirez, you gifted! At least you gifted it at something. Your fucking aim could use some work. Yeah! Fighter craft! Done! Thank you! Oh, nice one. We can do a hover shiv as well. And we can make a firestorm. After an extensive reverse engineering effort by the research team, we now believe it should be possible to mirror the functionality exhibited by the aliens' advanced flight and navigational computers. These systems provide the pilot with a, with a depth of information well beyond our current avionics package. 
and will certainly bring us closer to matching the alien ships in combat. Perhaps more importantly, we've successfully integrated our first proto prototype of the gravity wave drive we modelled after the alien propulsion systems. With this mechanism in place, we can expect the minimum of twofold increase in the Firestorm's maximum thrust output when compared to our traditional pulse engines. Assuming Dr. Shen and his team are successfully able to complete the fabrication process, our ships should be every bit as fast and deadly as the only alien crafts. And we get a hover shiv as well, which I may well manufacture. Um, oh, bugger. Uh, I'm going to do the Archangel armor in a s right now, actually. Because Archangel armor is like beast. Okay, so... Buy and build. Go into the ship area and... Kaboom. Yeah, man. Alright, we can't quite get a shiv yet. But I shall leave it there, folks, because right now that is all I really need. I don't think we're going to come into piss off. And just Man, in the nick of time. We're day. tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Now we'll have to do the very difficult mission, I reckon. But that'll be next time, guys. So next time you join me, I will be taking on some more horrible little alien fuckers. Till next time. Laters.